Hello friends! Are you ready to learn about another country? I hope you are because today we're going to see how some people live in France. If you want to learn more about France, don't forget to download the activity pack in the description below. Now let's continue with the video! Woo! This is Lucy, 10 year old girl who lives in Paris, France. Early in the morning, she and her family have bread with butter and marmalade for breakfast. While her parents drink coffee, Lucy and her brothers drink lavender tea since lavender flowers are very popular in France and there are a lot of fields in the country. Just like almost everyone in France, Lucy loves bread, especially lumberjack bread, Viennese bread, and of course, the famous and traditional French baguette. When Lucy asks her mother to pass the marmalade, she says, s'il vous plaît, which means please. And then she says, merci which means thank you. Can you say that with me? S'il vous plaît, please. And merci, thank you. At 8.30 a.m., Lucy walks to school by herself because it's quite safe in this part of Paris. On her way to school, she works in Rue de Rivoli, which has buildings with really amazing and classical architecture. She also passes right in front of the Louvre Museum, which holds the Mona Lisa, the most famous painting in the whole world. Right outside the Louvre Museum, Lucy can see a flagpole waving the French flag, which is a rectangle with three blue blue, white, and red vertical bars, just like this. While Lucy's at school, her mother Michelle goes to the supermarket, where instead of using a classic metal shopping cart, she uses her own caddy, which is basically a supermarket trolley used to carry heavy groceries around. Pretty much everyone in Paris uses them instead of plastic bags to avoid adding plastic to the oceans, because in France people are very environmentally conscious. Just like a lot of people in France, Michelle goes to the supermarket almost every day because she likes to buy very fresh products. In French supermarkets, there are huge juice machines right in front where people can fill their own bottles with orange juice. Orange juice has a lot of vitamin C which is really good for you. It helps you fight colds and flus. At 4.30 p.m. Lucy leaves school and happily walks back home thinking about what she would do tomorrow. Since it's Tuesday and students of French traditionally have no school on Wednesdays. What? No school on Wednesday? On her way home, Lucy stops at a bakery to buy some sweets and bread. Bakeries are really popular in France. There's one in almost every street corner. Every day at around 6 p.m. there's a queue in almost every bakery to buy baguettes. But Lucy got here early and it doesn't have to wait. She buys profiteroles, macarons, baguettes, and five croissants, one for each member of her family. As she grabs them from the shelf, she counts them. Can you count with her? Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq. That's one, two, three, four, and five. Say it with me. Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq. After paying the baker and before she leaves the bakery, Lucy says, Bonne journée, which means have a nice day. And the bakery says, Merci à vous aussi, which means thank you, you too. When Lucy and her siblings get home from school, their mother greets them by saying, Salut, which means hello. But it's only used for friends and family. Lucy thinks that after a long day at school and work, there's nothing better than to sit down and have dinner all together while watching the beautiful and bright Eiffel Tower at night. It twinkles, there's a light show every night. Now, this is Louis, and he's a chef. Chefs from all over the world travel to France to study and qualify as some of the best in the world. But why France? Well, French cuisine is often considered the best in the world. Louis works in a fancy French restaurant where he cooks dishes that have small portions, and some people can get a little disappointed at first. But then they try it, and it's just amazing. Louis cooks dishes like bolobesa, ratatouille, and quiche lorraine. Ratatouille sounds a little bit like a rat. Have you seen that movie? He also enjoys cooking snails. Yes, snails are one of France's most famous dishes and it's considered a delicacy. Over 25,000 tons of snails are eaten every single year. Snails are often enjoyed during the holidays. It, the dish is called escargot. Now this is Julian, a seven-year-old boy who's on vacation with his parents. He's about to have a picnic at the beach. Probably one of the best places to have a picnic in France is the north coast where people can admire the beautiful view of the ocean. While an old man riding a bicycle passes by and says bonjour, which means good morning. Julian's mom, Mila, takes out their classic French picnic basket from some fresh cheese, grapes, a baguette, and a bottle of wine. And of course, for Julian, grape juice. French people are crazy about wine. They drink a lot of bottles per year. They also love their cheese. It's said that in France, there are over 1,500 different cheeses, and more than 95% of the French population eats cheese. Julian's favorite is Brie. When Julian is not on vacation, he and his parents live in the 
French Alps. During the winter, Julian's family experiences big snowfalls that make 11, 15, or almost 20 inches of snow. Curiously, instead of lingering around for months, the vast quantities of snow are often gone in just a few days. So Julian has learned that if he wants to play in the snow, he better do it as soon as possible. Julian and his father, Arthur, have lots of fun skiing just in their backyards. But it's not all fun, since sometimes the weight of the snow knocks out the power and Julian's parents must resort to using their wood stove, not only heating for the house, but also because sometimes it's the only way to warm up some dinner. Luckily, as soon as the summer starts, French families living in the Alps can enjoy a peaceful, warm weather. And this is the perfect time for Julian and his family to travel to the beach. And those are just a few things about France and how some French people live. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more. Au revoir, mes amis. That's French for <laughs> ciao, friends.